Hey everyone, welcome back to episode four of Japan Business Time with Rochelle Karp and myself, Hiko Simon. Today's topic is from Robert Ryan, and、uh, the question is: How do Japanese feel when you know highly productive, motivated Western workers show up at their unproductive Japanese workplaces and、uh, show them up for for their inefficiency?、Uh, and that's a very interesting question. I thought so. We're going to talk about that、uh, in this episode.、Okay. Okay, so I think the, the the root of this question is there's no question. There's at least a perception. I think there's some truth to the perception that、uh, Western business tends to be very, very high, you know, hyperactively focused on efficiency. Mm -hmm. In Japanese business, let's be fair. While efficiency is definitely one of the important things that people strive for, it is not the be all and end all. And there is definitely、no. <laughs> an appearance that Japanese business is not as efficient, and Japanese workers do not appear to be as efficient as American workers. So, how does that work? It, 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 for a start, I think there's this question which which does bother me a little bit. This perception: Ah, Japanese, they work long hours, but they're not really doing anything. That 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 you know a lot of expats in Japan very dismissively say about their Japanese、uh, co-workers, and I guess there's a, maybe a similar perception again in, even in America. The Japanese well, about the Japanese,、like、exactly. That's true. Yes. So, what is your take on that? Are, are Japanese inefficient, or is that is there a problem? Is there, is there an issue there that needs to be fixed with Japanese efficiency? Oh、think? boy, that's a very complicated topic, and to the extent <laughs> that Japanese are inefficient, I would not always blame it on the individual.、Mm. Um, I think that there's a lot of processes in Japanese companies that、yeah. require huge amounts of time. Yeah. Like namawashi. Yeah. Or chose, which is like coordination. Yeah. Or the millions of reports that people are expected to write, or the many meetings they're expected to go to. It's very hard to be efficient、mm. in the structure of a typical Japanese company. And that's a great point. The the reports, the namawashi, the chose, the goal of namawashi is not efficiency. No. The goal of Nemoashi is completeness. Right. The goal of Nemoashi is to go around and make sure: Have we thought of everything? Have we have we got everyone's buy-in? Is everybody comfortable with this? Is everyone comfortable? If you're having again, when you've got something like an important decision-making process, efficiency is make one person responsible, make that person make a decision as quickly as possible, and you can maximize the efficiency of that decision of that process of making a decision. Right. But is, does that mean you've got the best decision? Right. And so this is the question: Is is efficiency the be all and end all? And does inefficiency mean? Does that equate to not doing anything? And I think this is something that、uh, again, where where my mindset before I came to Japan, I was locked in、mm. this very Western, very efficiency. Every, every every research into business is how to improve and tweak and you know maximize、right. and st streamline and make everything more efficient. And you come to Japan, where clearly processes are not always、right. designed to be to maximize efficiency. And you look at that and you assume, well, if they're not being efficient, they are waste. That there's waste. That is,、uh, you know, poor use of、uh, time and energy, and they're working late, but doing things that are not necessary. And this is the bane of Japan. This this will end Japan, because they're also terribly inefficient. But yet, I, I think, you think about the competitive advantages that Japan has: the the artisanship, the 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 the, the, the skill, the quality. The quality. These are outcomes of not of. of Efficiency is in there, but it's also attaching value to to things that are not necessarily the most efficient, but but you know, but but spending time on things. Yeah, that's true.、Um, and as someone who came to Japan, went to a Japanese company, and became one of those poor drones who was forced to work to one o'clock every morning,、mm -hmm. and, and to do this, and to you know, be on the verge of a nervous and physical breakdown six months later, going out to dinner with some expats, and having you know, Mr. Joe America say. All these guys work in Japanese companies to one、uh, o'clock in the morning, but they're not really doing anything. Oh, you know, do you want to just slap him? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was gonna, I was gonna flip the table and, and kill the guy. I was, I was gonna jump over and, and, and leave a mess all over right, the floor. Right, 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 exactly. And well, one thing you know, I kind of <laughs> see sort of a similar thing.、Um, I hear a lot from Americans at Japanese firms. Oh,、mm. what are the Japanese doing when they're working so late? Yeah. And a lot of times. They're doing the things, you know. There are certain processes, there are things that be expected, and Americans, you know, have their job descriptions. Yeah. And a lot of times, Japanese are doing the things that fall in the, in the spaces、oh, yes. between the job descriptions.、Yeah. So a lot of times, they're running around and doing stuff and kind of making sure everything's working. Yeah. So it's they are actually being productive. And I tell you one thing as well, from working in Japanese companies, and there's a cultural tendency, 
throughout Japanese businesses. I mean, if you're in, are working for life in a Japanese business, mm -hmm. they will assign you to departments that you are not actually talented in or, or suited for at all for the yes. purpose of making you a generalist, as someone right. who can work anywhere in the company. So right. you, you are constantly encouraged to look to work in areas outside of your scope and, and to understand. Right, which means you're not very efficient when you first start doing it. That's true. In fact, and just as you become efficient, they put you somewhere else where you're less efficient again, right. which is another thing. And I know Westerners who have been put in that situation and, and they get completely frustrated and they leave. Um, but at the same time, one thing that I, I've seldom heard in Japanese companies that I did hear when I started to work with uh, non-Japanese and more multicultural companies was not my effing job. <laughs> the, here is the boundary of my job, and, and this dude, is you what just I said get one step for. outside. That is not my you. That you go find who does that. That that's not what I do for you. You know, and and I don't even need to tell you. Yeah. Just not my effing job. Uh, Again, being in a company where the idea is that even if you're not able to do it, you're supposed to make some sort of incompetent effort to help. <laughs> being told not my effing job. Uh, so it's a shock. From a Japanese perspective, it's a shock. They, they freak out when they hear that. Yes. Passive aggression is coming, but that triggers my passive aggression. That triggers my, well, why, you know, why are you even working here, honestly? Uh, but right. So I think the whole concept of efficiency is different. Mm -hmm. And that difference you shouldn't immediately assume or equate to being different i'll tell you another thing as well so so how does mr joe salary man working to one o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. react to mr super efficient american coming in and uh making a lot of noise and flashing a lot of paper and printing out a powerpoint and going home at six o'clock waving goodbye to everybody as he leaves and laughing at the suckers behind he's not how do they team, deal with that he's not a team player well, not only is he not a, a team player but he there there is actually it goes further than that. This isn't fair, by the way, but this is, if you want to know how you're being perceived, if you're Mr. Efficiency and you're showing up everybody by going out early, um, they dislike you. And they dislike you not because you're being efficient. They dislike you because they perceive that the fact that you have gone home early is not a sign that you're efficient. It's a sign that you have left everybody else with the burden of extra work that you could have been doing in the time if you had stayed in the office. Right. And that you are actually slagging off. It's like uh, carrying the omikoshi. And, and, and like you're a short guy who's just uh, shorter than the other people not having to lift it <laughs> and putting the burden on the other people by going right, home right. Exactly. and that that's completely irrational that is a, right. a, a socialist communist mindset that somehow if that guy's going home early that's extra burden on me right. but, but we, that is the mindset that but the, uh, because the mindset the Japanese have is yeah. that people work as a team and and the work is done by a group and so the work's not all done. Yeah. I'm mean, sorry. They're not. You can't leave until the work's all done. Yeah. Basically, until until the world basically finishes, uh -huh. right. <laughs> and the economy comes to an end, and Japan has declared the winner. You basically just have to be there as long as there is work to do. Right. As long as the rest of your team members are there, and that's why Japanese can't take vacations because they feel so guilty mm -hmm. leaving their other team members back at the office while they're not there. And they all take vacations at, at four times the, the 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 price of air tickets all at the same time during these Golden Week vacations right, right, exactly. and these group vacations for that. Purpose. Because you can, can't leave, you can't be gone. And by the right, way, yeah. and that's not right. <laughs> and that's not right. And that is that is a mold I myself have also tried to fight against and break. But it's something that you have to exercise self-awareness and sensitivity towards with the other people, even if they're wrong, frankly, mm -hmm. because that's the culture that you're dealing with. So the thing is, I know, I know. I came here thinking, well, I can, in fact, I tell you specifically, I was, I'd be given a work assignment. Uh, on, on Friday. By next Friday, I want you to pre present this report. Mm -hmm. And this report has to be um, cover this, 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 and uh -huh. this. Mr. Efficiency, Wednesday afternoon, uh, I actually have something I've got to do on Thursday, and so I want to get this out of the way. I've got, I've got a backlog of work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this done on Wednesday and hand it in two days early. And I'm actually, and I've worked in Japan for a while, so not only am I going to do it just to the specification, 20 page, five chapters, mm -hmm. these topics, I know that they're going to expect extra. So I'm actually going to do extra. I'm actually going to prepare 35 pages and I'm actually going to do an extra chapter on this as well just to make sure it's all clear and show how efficient and wonderful I am by handing it on Wednesday. And I did this in a very traditional Japanese company in a financial institution. And my boss was um, visibly irritated by the fact that I was trying to submit work one, one and a half days early. Mm. And he was, first he tried to put challenge it by saying, well, how many pages? I mean, did you do an, I did, I did more, more than that. I, I did double the number of pages. Well, did you cover these topics? I, I actually I anticipated your question and I covered that topic as well. But he would just keep going until he found something. Uh, because basically the perception is not that you are supposed to do the work as efficiently as possible. The perception is you are supposed to use the time that you have to fill it all out and present the best report that you can put together in that time. So it really is, 
I, I didn't get I actually got hostility interesting <laughs> for, for trying to prepare early and that's not you know this isn't true in every single case but it reflects mm -hmm. a mindset that um, well, yeah. what, what could you have just finished it put it aside worked on the other stuff on Thursday and then handed it on Friday well that's exactly how you do it yeah that's exactly <laughs> if you want to get ahead of your work you do it yeah. and you sit on it for a little bit yeah and you and, and you give it right um, you're presenting it early is not actually seen you do it in America hey Jimmy got his report in two days early you know enjoy your weekend no no Jimmy is lazy uh, Jimmy might have actually worked harder than the other person working right, right, on a similar right. report and, and somebody on the, in the end day but uh, trying to get it in two days early it just looks like you're trying to abscond or slack off um, and this is uh, so yes yes and this is terrible the whole idea of maintaining an, an appearance but just maintaining an appearance of busyness doesn't mean you're faking work. It doesn't mean that you're sitting on the screen, you know, typing with, with just gibberish. You find things to do. There are reports right. and there's ways to there's fill in the time. There's plenty of others' work There's probably, plenty of work to right? go around, but you have to find that work and do that work. And just going home and not doing that work and doing just your work definition efficiently, no, you don't get any love for that at all. Here. Right. You know, not in a Japanese environment, no. Which is what drives a lot of expats crazy and makes them go home and, 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 and have better experiences. But that's how it is. Yeah. That's the expectation that you have to understand. So, yeah, no, my experience of dealing with that is, uh, it's, uh, yeah, you don't get, uh, people don't feel, it's not, yeah, they ask, do, you, do they feel jealous? No, they don't feel jealous. They feel very hostile towards you for your bad attitude, right. for being yeah. efficient. Basically, yeah. <laughs> oh, so okay. Sorry, I talked too much again, but that's okay. Uh, we have more of these topics, including passive. I can't wait till we get to passive aggression. <laughs> Sorry, because everything is building up to passive aggression. But uh, hang around for next week for more topics on uh, Japan Business Time. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm.